Hello, welcome back to Dimension Quest. Last year, I did a series of videos to install and configure Zential as a free Active Directory server for my home lab environment. I even configured VMware vCenter to authenticate against Zential for better user management. Recently, I went to log into vCenter and was notified that my password would soon expire. I didn't recall setting a password expiration in Zential for the accounts I created. Upon further review, there doesn't even appear to be any way in Zential UI to manage password expirations, only to set a password. After a bit of digging, I found that there is a command line that must be run at the console of the Zential server, which can be done over SSH. Let's go ahead and do that now. As you can see here, I've already established an SSH connection to my Zential server, dc.lab.asbuild.dev, and I've changed to the root account. So now I can issue the command samba tool domain password settings set dash dash max dash pwd dash age equals zero. So this will go ahead and disable the maximum password age, which will get rid of the password expiration notification that we can see here at the top of my vCenter login. Now, before I hit enter on there, we can take a look over here in the Zential user management. I've got my VC admin account here. That's the one that you can see is logged into vCenter. And as you can see, there are no options in here for managing the password expiration, age, no password policies whatsoever can be managed through the Zential UI. Only resetting the password here or disabling the account. While that's not ideal, that's okay. At least there is a way to get this done, and that's by using the Samba tool. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Okay, maximum password age changed. All changes applied successfully. So let's verify that indeed this message should go away after I log back in. So I'll hit log out. Give that a moment. Let's clear the message, get logged out. Now, if my password were still going to expire soon, then we should get that message. But since the password age is set to disabled by setting it to zero, we should not get any kind of a notification anymore. So we'll let that get logged in. While that's getting logged in, let's take a look at what other options are available with this Samba tool domain password settings. Let's just go ahead and resize the window a bit. There we go. And let's do a Samba, oops, we got a capital going there. Samba tool, domain, password, settings, dash, dash, help, or we could just do a dash H. Okay. So we see that, um, we can manage what fine grain password setting objects, set password settings and show current password settings for the domain. So let's see what options we have available to set. So we'll just put set in front of the dash H. There we go. And we'll scroll back up here and we can see we can adjust the complexity either on or off. The default is on. So you have to have a complex password set up. You can choose whether or not to use plain text for storing the passwords. You can adjust your, the history length for how often you have to change passwords to something unique. You can adjust the minimum password length, the minimum age, maximum password age, account lockout duration, account lockout threshold, and you can adjust the reset account lockout after. So there you have it, there's a variety of options that can be set for your password policies from the command line. And now I'll pull back the console window here to reveal our vCenter login. And we can see here at the top, I am once again logged in as VC admin. I no longer have the notification regarding the password expiration. So that's it for this week's video. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button. And if you want to be notified when my new video releases, also click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Have a safe, happy, and healthy week.